Father, we give thanks for Isaac and Olivia. We give thanks that we can celebrate the coming together of two people who know you and are known by you. We pray today that as they start together, so they would finish in faithfulness, love and eagerness to honour you. You look beautiful. Mm. Yeah, really beautiful. Oh, don't cut your eye. So it's very fitting that a father gives a present to the um, the daughter, Oops. just to complete the outfit and to so you're presentable to your husband. And I hope you can see the spiritual significance of that. You know, the Lord gives us the Holy Spirit as a gift. And so, um, yeah. Hello and welcome along this afternoon. It is beautiful to be here, isn't it? Uh, my name's Brad Jewson, if we haven't met, and it is a true honour for me to welcome you along to the wedding ceremony of Isaac and Olivia now. This is a wedding of two people, and the vows that they make are before him. And in fact, this is part of his story unfolding here on earth. So friends, we're here to celebrate. We're here to witness, and in some ways, we are here to worship our God. Isaac and Olivia, you've declared to me in private your intention to be married and that there's nothing according to the laws of God or the state to stop that from happening. It probably comes as no surprise to anyone here, actually, of your intention either. But now is a special time in which you publicly declare your love to each other and your intention to give yourselves to each other as long as you both shall live. So now, please, can you take hands, yeah. join hands, and uh, I'm going to read out this part and then it's over to you. Isaac, will you take Olivia to be your lawfully wedded wife, to live together according to God's word, will give her the honour due to her as your wife and forsaking all others. Love, protect and serve her as long as you both shall live. I will. And Olivia, will you take Isaac to be your lawfully wedded husband, to live together according to God's word, will give him the honour due to him as your husband and forsaking all others love, protect and serve him as long as you both shall live. I will. That's beautiful. <laughs> now time for your vows and this is where you repeat after me. I, Isaac Daniel Felden. I, Isaac Daniel Felden. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. <laughs> I can't look at you. <laughs> Just breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I, Isaac and Daniel Felden, in the presence of God, take you, Olivia Lily Wales, take you, Olivia Lily Wales, to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, 
from this day forward from this day forward for better for worse for better for worse for richer for poorer for richer for poorer in sickness and in health in sickness and in health to love and to cherish to love and to cherish as long as we both shall live as long as we both shall live this is my solemn vow and promise this is my solemn vow and promise and now for you Lil I, Olivia Lily Wales. I, Olivia Lily Wales. In the presence of God. In the presence of God. Take you, Isaac Daniel Felden. Take you, Isaac Daniel Felden. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded, wedded husband. <laughs> to have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. This is my solemn vow and promise. This is my solemn vow and promise. Well done. Start. Do we have some rings? Can I just take both of them? The deal? No, just take yours, Isaac. Well, well mine. Olivia's. No, Olivia's. <laughs> there you go. It's confusing. <laughs> Isaac, can you take the ring and place it on Olivia's third finger? Hold it there a moment. Look into her eyes and her heart and repeat these words after me. Olivia, with this ring I wed thee. Olivia, with this ring I wed thee. <laughs> <laughs> with all that I am, with all that I am, and all that I have, and all that I have, I honour you in the name of God. I honour you in the name of God. And Olivia, can you take the ring, place it on Isaac's third finger, hold it there a moment, look into his eyes and heart, and repeat these words after me. Isaac, Isaac, with this ring I wed thee. With this ring I wed thee. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honour you in the name of God. I honour you in the name of God. And now, indeed, there is a pronouncement from me that those whom God has joined together let no man separate before God and in the presence of us all by solemn consent and promise by the giving and receiving of rings and by the joining of hands, Isaac and Olivia have now accepted each other in marriage. In the name of God, I declare them to be husband and wife. Yeah. Isaac, you may now kiss the bride. Let me introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Isaac and Olivia Felder.
Mr. and Mrs. Isaac and Olivia Felden. Both of them, they seem to be a match made in heaven. I can see how God has just brought these two together. And I can see why, even though they're so young, Olivia's only 18 and Isaac's 20, turning 21. Um, you know, so young, but they've found the right person. God has brought them together and he said, and I want you to make sure you remember that, that God has given Isaac to you, Olivia, and, and Isaac, God has given you Olivia. And always remember that. And God doesn't make mistakes. And you can have faith in him that he's done the right thing. And I tell you what, sometimes, like Ange will testify to that, we, sometimes you might not get on. And sometimes you think <laughs> God, made a, God made a mistake, you know. But if you stick to that and just say, no, nah, God doesn't make mistakes and we're meant to be together. And you ride out those hard times and blessing will come. Isaac, you didn't get to meet your granddad Barry, but the very first thing he did in his speech was to thank God. And um, that's what I want to do as well. Uh, I want to thank God for this day. I want to thank God for you and Olivia um, and the blessing that you are to us. You probably won't remember that. I don't think, I, I don't remember much more about our reception. Probably I had other things on my mind about what I was going to do later, but. <laughs> Um, <laughs> do you know what I mean? What is Isaac and Olivia's dream vacation location? <laughs> Steph, can you repeat that into the microphone? Um. Michelle said, Fiji. Fiji is correct, Steph. Come on up. You've got to spin it. Here we go. Here we go. Success. Can't get out of it that easy. <laughs> wow. Bride and groom, gross kiss. How embarrassing. <laughs> right. Yep. That was pretty gross. Pretty gross, guys. My speech is not actually a speech, but in fact, it is a song for Lil and Isaac. That I wrote. You two are in love, a hand in hand forever. Serving the one above by living with each other. He knows you so, Isaac, you're going to have a great life with Olivia. Yeah, although she'll probably make you late to everything, <laughs> which has sort of started already. I'll be honest, so I'll tell the truth. Um, <clears throat> but she's also going to fill your life with a lot of joy and happiness. Um, and don't forget her infectious excitement over just my new things. Um, here, you're going to have to hold this. And she goes... <gasps> Every time she gets excited, it's wonderful. Um, yeah, so I have been so very blessed to have shared so many experiences with Olivia uh, through multiple trips to the coast and car trips with Bible to music um, and our weekly Bible study. Throughout this time, I have learned that Olivia is someone who is always there for you in your ups, your downs, and just the regular days, she's always there. Isaac, you're the funniest, kindest person I've ever met. You're very interesting in here. I, I can't read your writing, so <laughs> I would just, do you, do you mind if I just read mine? That's, if that's all right, I'll just read mine. Sorry, I'll just, um, one second, just let me. Sorry, I wrote this a long time ago. Um, <laughs> so, that's going to be hard to clean up. I'm so excited to see what's next for you and this new adventure as uh, you and Olivia serve God together. And Olivia, I can say with the utmost confidence that he will stand by you, for better or for worse, till death do you part. Who 
has the crazier family? Oh, you. <laughs> Who is the better dancer? Oh, me. Oh. Of course, I'm going to start by saying on behalf of my wife, Olivia, and I, how weird is that? Um, thank you to everyone for coming. So I just want to say a special thank you to my parents. Thanks for raising me with such solid Christian values. And knowledge of the Bible. <laughs> oh boy, this is me <laughs> Some people told us we ought to wait until we were older to get married, to see the world and grow up a bit. But I couldn't think of any better way to grow up than right by your side. And I couldn't see the world without you. Because the only world I was interested in was one in which we're side by side. Oh no, I'm almost done. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, the day has come. I don't know if I could ever be happier than I am right now, standing next to my gorgeous wife at our wedding, surrounded by people who love us and serving Jesus as our King. Olivia, I'm so blessed to be able to call you mine and I can't wait to grow as we go.